tragic stories like this are becoming increasingly common in Britain as another person takes his own life and his family blame it on the recession. Earlier this month, Stephanie Bottrell committed suicide, blaming the government and their new bedroom tax. Now father of one, 36-year-old Anthony Breeze has set himself alight after getting into debt. An inquest into his death heard how last August Anthony walked to a secluded wood near his family home in Bolton and set himself on fire. He told a horrified onlooker he was in debt and had had enough. He suffered 73% burns and died the next day. In the weeks before his death, aggressive loan sharks had been ringing him day and night over £1,600 worth of debt. He had been seeing a counsellor over the arrears and had lost a stone of weight in just a few weeks. Stress is defined as the inability to cope and this can then lead on to depression if it continues, relationship breakdowns, difficulty dealing with day-to-day -day things. In a time where people are significantly financially strained, um, whether it be through pay freezes or benefit cuts for example, um, the additional stress of being in debt um, can lead people to have increased suicidal thoughts or in fact contemplate suicide. Police investigating his death found he owed money to several payday loan companies. These controversial short-term lenders easily charge three or four thousand percent interest for people to borrow small amounts of money. They've been strongly criticised and the Office of Fair Trading has revoked the licence of two lenders and is investigating three more. With these payday loan companies, they can be quite forceful in their approach to collecting the debt. Um, and for somebody who's already in debt and is stressed and depressed, this could tip them over the edge. Um, the Office of Fair Trade state that these companies do not necessarily treat applicants with um, sensitivity or patience, um, and they need to be accountable. The coroner at the inquest declared an open verdict in Anthony Breeze's death, saying he could not see how this would drive him to take his own life. But his family and Stephanie Bottrell's family are convinced that it did. And experts say these won't be the last losses as the economic crisis lingers on in Britain. Nagus Mawalari, Press TV, London.